Hey guys, so today we're, we're talking about the Sterling Stingray 30. So a couple things on this. I bought it from a company online called Music123 and got it out of the box and I knew that it didn't ever get a setup at the guitar store I got it from because the, the, the bridge saddles were, were all the exact same position, the intonation wasn't adjusted at all. Um, nothing, nothing was done. The truss rod was way out of whack. I had to crank that thing m more than usual, almost to a scary amount, uh, to, to get this thing to, to even be playable. The strings were so high off the neck. Uh, so I got the truss rod adjusted in spec, was able to adjust the saddles a little bit, and now, now it's playable. Uh, it actually plays really good. The strings are really low now. Um, I love this black on black look that Music Man's been doing lately. Um, it does have a, a tremolo system. I'm not really a tremolo guy unless it's a double locking system because I don't want my guitar to go out of tune. So I won't be using that. Really thin block in the back. You might want to replace that if you're going to put any money into one of these. Um, there are some scratches on the pick guard. It, it did have the protective coating on it. So that might actually be from me. Um, and I've only been playing this for maybe half an hour this morning, so it might be a fast wearing guitar. It definitely has this satin finish that feels like it will wear quickly, which I, I don't mind that. I like worn guitars, but that might be something you want to keep your mind on if, if you don't want your guitar to be kind of beat up, because I think this paint's going to wear quickly. Uh, my favorite part of this guitar would be just this transition from this black to the fretboard and with the black nut here looks freaking sweet. Tuners are actually really good. They, they don't feel good when you're touching them, but I, I was playing pretty hard and it didn't come out of tune, so they're fine. <clears throat> really impressed with the neck pickup. The bridge pickup's okay. It will suffice for now. I might replace it. But yeah, the, the all black is, is sweet. So we're running through a Jet City HDM 100 head with a uh, 212 Vintage 30 cabinet. So let's see how the clean sounds. So they do have some um, you can tell that it was kind of breaking up a little bit, and it's not the cleanest, uh, cleanest amp out there. But these pickups do pack a little bit of a punch, so we'll go into the middle position here. Because I'm running the humbuckers through it, 
So it really nice tone though. I'm, I'm really impressed right now with the pickups on the clean channel. That sounded amazing. Let's give it a little bit of drive here. <laughs> store.